can at least get rid of, um, I think right now, one row. I would say just right next to the wall. And we'll just leave these for backup or until they break and start putting in the better spikes. Just so we have some form of basic defense. That they can kill themselves on. So I was playing this one game called Imperion Galactic Survival. I think I've seen you. What is that all about? Well, it's a pain in the butt is what it is. <laughs> Having a hard time enjoying it? Or is it bring well, out the masochists in you? I want to enjoy it. I really do. But it makes it difficult, huh? Well... The, the first 40 minutes or to an hour of gameplay is all right. Um, basically what happens is that you uh, something happens and you enter into an escape pod and you crash land on the planet. So it's like, okay. Simple, right? Yep. Now you're on this planet and you got to survive. Okay. Okay. Cool. So you build a base build a bunch of goodies in your base and all the while you're learning how to make more advanced technology right cool basic progression right okay and then about 40 minutes into the game or about an hour <sighs> drones start attacking you oh and if you're if you were if you are prepared these drones die pretty darn easily um you can shoot them down with a regular pistol, or if you have an assault rifle, shoot them down with that. But okay. uh, I was I was able to make some static automated defenses, so I had like a huge gun in front of my uh, base, <laughs> and I was able to shoot them down. And I was actually depending on those. Then all of a sudden, like while I was in the middle of uh, going to my uh, my workbench, essentially was what it was and looking over some recipes, I was attacked by these drones and they disabled both of my automated guns and they started tearing apart all of my walls. Oh no! I was like, whoa, why are these drones so badass all of a sudden? Spurs. And, and <laughs> I was like, okay, that, that, that kind of sucked. And that was after I kind of gave up on one of the other things that I was doing at the time because I needed to go and find some magnesium because that's like a, an ingredient in bullets. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my, 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 my guns, none of my guns will work without bullets. For some odd reason. Yeah, it's like weird. God, why? why? Why do they need projectiles? I know, Sorry. right? <laughs> Jeez. So like they're needy. spoiled or something, you know? <laughs> so, um, I went out and I found a, a magnesium mine and it was, it was awesome. There was a lot of magnesium there. Awesome. I, put, I loaded up my bag and I rode my motorcycle back and I started riding my motorcycle back to my base and apparently there's like an automated production facility like in the way. Oh. And they started shooting lasers at me. <laughs> killing my character. And every time I started sending my character back to collect the bag of stuff in his corpse, that guy got killed. So after about five or six tries, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to kill stuff. <laughs> not worth it. Oh, that sucks. So that was about the time when I realized I was just going to focus on my static defenses. And that's about also the time when the drones started destroying my base. I was like, ah. God damn it all. Well, I know that pain and suffering. 
Yeah, I think anyone that's played a survival crafting game knows that. Oh, yeah. And the loss sucks. of the first base. It's like, all I wanted to do was just have a command center that I could work from. No, you're not allowed. I know, right? Jeez. You can't have it. It's not mine. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> well, pretty much, fuckers. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna jinx us, but things are really quiet. <laughs> well, it's right after a horde invasion. Maybe they're all uh, zombied out for a while. Oh, maybe. Partied hard enough. They got it out of their system for a bit. Yep. Zombie party. <laughs> you know what? That entire horde night, I did not have a screamer. Huh. Well, I... they don't really need one, right? Uh, yeah, but usually they still show up. to start going hunting soon. Are we low on food or something? Uh, getting there. I've got lots of canned food though. Well, canned food's good because it doesn't give off a yummy scent. Yep, so I try to save that. I'm able to start doing pies and stuff soon. Uh, I think I'm okay. I do need some steel ones. So I can maybe work on a few exploding bolts for emergencies. But I'm in no hurry for the exploding bolts yet. They'll just make good for uh, horde nights. Those exploding bolts are pretty expensive. I know. I mean, 20 bits of gunpowder? Um, eight. Eight? Okay. Oh, I'm thinking about the, uh, mines. Yep. No, luckily no. <laughs> they're not ex that expensive, but they're expensive enough. Oh, I actually listened to uh, 
Amy Rose's uh, theme song. Oh. Because, like, the part that we hear from uh, the Sonic Racers game is just, like, the really cute part. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the entire song is actually pretty cute. Are you sure about that? Because I listened to it, and it sounds pretty damn sexy to me. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. This is this is Amy's song? Uh-huh. <laughs> She's an adult now, honey. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Remember, she used the Chaos Emerald to wish to be 18. I believe oh. it was. Yeah, yeah, I remember when she was officially inducted into the chaos, into the uh, Freedom Fighters. Yep. Uh, she insisted that her Pico Pico hammer be uh, credited as well. <laughs> uh... Oh, Amy Rose. I thought it was interesting, though, to see her transformation, though, from... What was it? She was 12? Uh, yeah. Yeah, as I believe her original age. But, yep. Now it was the start of the Sonic Adventure comics. But, uh, I think that's the reason why they also aged up Tails. Because I think he was originally, like, only four years old. Uh... Um, but, like, the Chaos Emeralds aged him up to about 12. I think so. I think it's mostly because you can't have kids going out on adventures. God damn gotta... parents. <laughs> yeah. God, what do they know? <laughs> I know, right? <sighs> they don't know what it's like to be a kid. <laughs> oh, God. I apologize so to my mother my so many school. times. Oh, really? That's good. Oh, yeah. Do you need any? No, 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 it's just good to have. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good from what, what, whatever it is that we're using it for. Um, mostly steel, I believe. Yeah. And we will need it for cement. I think it's for, like, um, like, casting? I think so, yeah. There's quite a few uses for it. No, seriously, Amy Rose's song, I thought what, when I listened to the whole thing, I thought would be more appropriate to, like, Rouge or something. Yeah, I think there's been, like, even jokes about that. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, hmm. I can't remember Rouge's theme song right off the top of my head. I hated that one fucking quest, though, in Sonic Adventures 2. You have ten minutes to get out! Give me five! Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> I'll take the ten! <laughs> Please! <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, why are you handicapping me like this? This isn't fair! It's already hard enough to find the goddamn pieces! Oh, I have to go around security, figure out how to fucking open saves. God damn it, woman! <laughs> ah, that song can go away. Part of the start to what we can turn into a basement. <laughs> 